KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, August 28th. I'm James Spann again today up in St. Louis at the National Weather Association annual meeting. Alabama's weather quiet today. Any storms few and far between, but showers and storms should be more active as the week progresses as the air becomes more unstable. Let's check it out early this morning. Here's the upper air look out a very chilly trough back in the northwestern states, but around here, the ridge is the story. And accordingly, temperatures kind of match the pattern. Very chilly for late August up in the uh, Intermountain West with 30s and 40s. That's a sign of the times. But around here, we got mostly 70s to start the day. And we'll see highs up in the low 90s again in most spots. Some, some spots may be hitting mid-90s this afternoon. Excessive heat advisories for uh, our city here in St. Louis today. Also parts of the Northeast United States. And again, winter weather advisories for parts of Montana and Wyoming up around Yellowstone. Could see a few severe storms today, especially from Kansas City up to Chicago, Milwaukee, Grand Rapids. And we're in the green. That means the chance of isolated storms. But like yesterday, most places dry. Tomorrow, the surface front creeps to the south, a marginal risk of severe storms to the north. But for Alabama, the number of showers and storms should increase as the ridge weakens a bit. And this is day three, which is Thursday. Again, we'll see scattered showers and storms, but organized severe weather not expected in Alabama or any part of the United States. Rain for the next seven days, heaviest rain, parts of the Midwest, around Des Moines, back over towards Chicago. Alabama amounts between one half and one inch for most spots, and this is the rain valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Tropical weather still amazingly quiet for late August. We're in the peak of the season, but just nothing going on right now. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 06E run, valid this afternoon at 1 o'clock at 500 millibars, about 18,000 18, feet off the ground. There's that cold trough in the northern states. That'll bring the chance of severe storms up north in advance of that. But a 594 heat ridge just northeast of Alabama. And for us, it will be partly sunny, hot, and humid with low 90s. And again, a few storms could pop up today, but they'll be fairly widely scattered. Tomorrow, scattered showers and storms will likely increase as the air becomes more unstable. Mixture of clouds and sunshine, highs around 90 Pretty much the same thing Thursday. Got a weak front north of the state that never makes it through here. And Friday, again, we'll see a few scattered showers and storms, mostly during the afternoon and evening hours. What about the weekend, you ask? All right, this is Saturday. Same deal, partly sunny, humid. The chance of afternoon and evening storms. They'll be random and scattered. No way of giving specific start-stop times. The high should be around 90, and the same thing on Sunday. Go to Monday of next week. It's the same story. This is September 3rd, getting into meteorological fall here. Humid, mixture of clouds and sunshine, the chance of a few scattered storms in a week from today. This is Tuesday the 4th. Again, got a ridge center just northeast of here, and it's the same old story. Kind of hot and muggy and a few pop-up storms about. Let's go out 10 days, Thursday, August, or <laughs> August. This is September 6th. The heat ridge shifting to the west and that's suggesting a surface front might try and push in here. Just maybe that'll give us a little break from the upper 80s and low 90s and give us maybe a hint of fall. We'll see. But we all know it can be brutally hot here in September. Uh, these are the numbers coming off the National Weather Service Best Blend product. And you can see highs at are just over 90 for a while, maybe upper 80s out there toward the end of next week. But if you're looking for a big push of cool, refreshing air, that typically does not happen here in early September. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. Again, we're on the travel schedule here today. Just one video today. Back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. Catch Charles Daniel, my friend, on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. And, of course, notes are on the blog. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Don't let your AC system get knocked out by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.